Hey guys, it's Dr. Chris at Adventure Chiropractic. Uh, today we're gonna do another different video. Uh, a couple months back I was I was invited out to Cottonwood Cider House. Dan and Stacy out there uh, were kind enough to ask me in and uh, help them out a little bit with an ergonomic assessment and show me how they make cider. And it was kind of a fun afternoon uh, that we spent out there. Uh, a lot of people I don't think know that we do that at Adventure Chiropractic. I will come to your business or, or one of our doctors will and go through your workspace, check for ergonomics, proper lifting form for your uh, employees and staff to make sure everybody stays uh, safe, functional, and, and happy at work. Uh, but let's take a look through the video. Uh, I'm gonna apologize in advance for a little bit of the footage. Uh, it's all me uh, doing the camera work instead of our usual uh, excellent camera person here that we use. So um, sorry about that. Make sure you comment and like below. Smash the like button if you do not want me to ever operate a camera again. Uh, that would be great so I don't have to. And uh, yeah, check it out. Let us know what you think. Guys, we are at Cottonwood Cider House. Uh, Dan and Stacy just invited us out here today to do some ergonomic assessments for them. Uh, make sure their workflow is going as well as it can be and uh, make sure everybody's using good lifting technique, all that fun stuff. Hopefully though, they're gonna show us how to make some cider while we're in there and uh, maybe they saved a little bit of peach me cider. That's one of my favorites. All right guys, we are inside with the owners of Cottonwood Cider House. Let's meet them right here. You wanna introduce yourself? Hi. I'm Dan. I'm Stacy. There we go. And they're gonna show us around a little bit as we see how you make cider. It's gonna be like a little Mr. Rogers moment where we get to see each step, I think, today. So it's gonna be pretty cool. You guys wanna tell us what we're pressing today? Today we are pressing the last of our apples. We have uh, some Harrow Reds that we're pressing from the community. Okay, so we start with our apples. We take them over to the sink to wash them, cut out bad spots, clean them up, do what we need to do here. From there, we load them into these buckets over there and we take them to our grinder. So once we have our clean cut out apples here, we take them to our grinder and turn them into a mash or pulp and put them in these buckets right here. It looks like this. That's, uh, it's kind of oxidized a little bit already. You can see it's turning brown, but that's the pulp. And from here, we'll take the pulp and we'll dump it into our press. This is a bladder press. Uh, I'll fill this up with pulp and then I'll close it up with that steel lid over there and then I, I have water hose, a water hose hooked up to it and I'll fill up this bladder full of water pressing the pulp out through this mesh bag through the slots in the stainless steel and then all the juice comes down into here. Once I get the juice into here I'll pump it into whatever vessel that I have to ferment in. Obviously we're, we're, I mean, not ideal, but we're fermenting in whatever we have just because we have so many, so much juice to work with. But I have uh, some, some of the plastic resin uh, vessels that, were fit, that we filled. Um, I'm filling in these, these uh, cardboard totes with the oxygen barrier liners in them, which again isn't ideal, but it's what we're gonna do. And then I've also filled up all the uh, stainless steel vessels over there with juice that we fermented in. And then once the juice is fermented, we start the long process of filtering and blending and adding uh, sugar or whatever other things that we want to add to the juice to, to make the different cottonwood ciders that we got. Awesome. Thank you. Kind of interesting. I uh, has flashbacks of Mr. Rogers the whole time there, learning how to go through the crayon factory or the trumpet factory. Uh, so hopefully that was uh, interesting for you guys. Uh, remember, if you need help at your work uh, with ergonomic assessments or anything like that, uh, just invite us out. Give us a call at the office here, or check us out on our website. Send us an email. Uh, we're always here to help you move better, feel better, be a better you. And remember, smash that like button if you never want to see me operate a camera again.